that something to do with how many rounds can a six hour hold? Why are we even talking about guns? It really, I mean, what's, what's the point of talking about guns? But the reality is that they use every opportunity to indoctrinate, indoctrinate, indoctrinate. And this idea that you can somehow just babysit your children until they're 18 and then they'll make up their own minds is ignorance on a stick. Nobody makes up their own mind, just so you know. You are a result of the programming around you, that stuff gets in there, and then you start calculating it. And if you are of the mindset, well, I'm not going to teach them about religion. I'm not going to teach them about rights. I'm not going to teach them about love. I'm not going to teach them about sex. I'm not going to teach them about fill in the blank. I'll just let them make up their own mind and experience it for themselves when they become an adult. And then they can be whatever they want to be. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Because the reality is that somebody or something is going to be programmed with them. Whether it's TV, school, friends, movies, music, something. Something's going to program that child. If, if that really was the case, where they could get to adulthood and not be programmed, you would be raising a vegetable. Really. I mean, you would raise somebody in a coma, maybe, and then wake them up on their 18th birthday. And then say, okay, now you're an adult, go forth and, and prosper. But that doesn't happen. So we need to be honest, we need to be real, we need to be adults and say, no, no, our responsibility is to raise a child, not just babysit them, keep them alive until they're 18. It's to raise them. And when we don't make a conscious effort to raise them, they end up being like this uh, this young man or young woman. I, I couldn't tell either. Some people ask, was that a young man or a sure? I don't know. All I know, all I know is that he, she was very offended by the sign. I would love to talk to him. If, just by some weird stroke of luck, if you happen to know who that uh, young person is in that video, I want to talk to him. I really do. And I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. I just want to understand what is going on in your mind that makes you so offended. I and mean, look at all the people who are offended at Trump. Right? Now, let's just seriously. When you show up to rallies and you are violently protesting, when, when, when you think, oh, yeah, okay, I'm just going to block a highway, it has nothing to do with the candidate. Please understand. Nothing. Nothing to do with the candidate. It could be any candidate. I don't care. I'm talking about the mindset of the voters. When your idea is, well, I, I am offended by what he has to say. So I'm going to block a highway in Arizona so other people can't get to work. Other people can't get to the doctor. Other people can't get home to their children. Other people can't get home from school because I'm so offended. Newsflash, you're the one that has the problem. Just saying. But because you feel like you're not being heard, because you feel like, like... He doesn't agree with you, or she doesn't agree with you, or whoever candidate, again, I don't care who the candidate is, you're going to be saying, oh, well, you know, I have to do what I need to do to stop him. And it's kind of what we're seeing from the Republicans. I mean, here's, a, here's an article, Washington Examiner. Cruz is snaring Trump's Arizona delegate. Senator Ted Cruz is out hustling for the pump and looks to set, un set to unsure many Arizona delegates and they're going to fight for him on the convention floor. The Texas senator, who ever since Iowa has played a stealthy ground game to contrast Trump's populism, is taking steps to snatch the Republican presidential nomination from the gavel. The New York businessman easily won last month's Arizona primary, taking 47%, and Cruz only got 27, scooping up all 58 delegates. No, Cruz 25. 
sort of candidate you are, how honest and fair are you in other areas of your life? I'm just asking the question. Because it's really not about the people then, is it? It's really not about your voice being heard. It's about how in order to win. How they can lie, steal, cheat, manipulate in order to win. And what this really shows is if you think any of these politicians are not really still politicians, if you think any of these people are anti-establishment, then you're not. Gold coin from the U.S. Money Reserve. Call 1 800 490 